because this is on your uh, homework and you have to do it and finals will, co will cover it. So it will be on final exam. So method of undetermined coefficient. Why are we learning this method? Well, first of all, you can see this differential equation which is in front of you is non-homogeneous. Y double prime minus 8Y prime plus 19Y equals to e to the power 5t is non-homogeneous or non-homogeneous, whichever way you want to say. Second order differential equation. Second uh, order differential equations. Okay, so this is non-homogeneous. If how we will find the solution of this problem? I'll get back to your question, um, uh, which Christy wrote down. Just give me some time. So then this one is, uh, we will break this problem. Okay, I'll break this problem. I'll break this problem into two parts. To find the solution. Now which part can you all handle when I am breaking it this way? Which part you all can handle in these two portion? Which one you can figure out all the solutions? Left one, right? Okay, very good. And the knowledge of left one helps us to figure out the solution of the right one. Exactly right. A homogeneous one. So, what is basically a theory about finding a general solution, general solution of no, NH, let me denote this uh, by NH here, NH. General solution of NH is going to be equals to general solution of H, which is homogeneous. This is H plus one particular solution of NH. One particular solution of NH. So if you find one particular solution of this differential equation and add all the family of solution of this differential equation, you will get all the solution of non-homogeneous differential equation. So this is what um, is a key idea to get the solution of non-homogeneous. Now, okay. For homogeneous, you know how to find. So, well, you will say, well, I will just do uh, to handle um, um, H, you will just do the process. But one second, let's wait. Let's just um, take a step back and try to see then why, what is the connection of this problem with what we are doing? So, this problem is asking one solution of this problem. It is not asking all the solutions of this problem. So basically, it is not asking this part. It is asking one particular solution. And one particular solution we can figure out using a method of undetermined coefficient. Let's put MUC, method of undetermined coefficient, MUC. So we can use this method to get it. Now, what is this method? Whenever your right hand side, which is this side, is nice function, by nice I mean exponential, polynomial, cosine, sine or exponential time cosine, they all lie in my category of nice function. So whenever this function is nice, we can make a guess for a particular solution. So this is basically a guessing method. Basically, we will guess for
particular solution and I should say we will guess for the form of a particular solution. So at any rate now this is fx is this so my guess will be in this case for the particular solution which I am saying at z is nothing but depends on my roots of this characteristic polynomial so let's see what are the roots of this characteristic polynomial can anybody can anybody quickly give me the roots of this lambda square minus 8 lambda plus 19 equals to 0 what are the roots here complex right lambda is complex no problem then if it's complex um, yeah it's complex so because it's complex I don't have to worry too much and I will take my form to be ae to the power 5t as my particular solution form of a particular solution now if 5 if 5 is a root of a characteristic polynomial, then I have to multiply by t here. I have to take a times t e to the power 5t. But since 5 is not a root of a characteristic polynomial, I will can take this as a form of a particular solution. To figure out this um, solution explicitly, uh, we know zt is going to satisfy. So this is the... Uh, this is the form up here this is important here this is the form and now you have to say well zt is going to satisfy the differential equation if it is a particular solution right it will satisfy it so what you're going to do plug this function back in the differential equation a e to the power 5 t double derivative 8 e a e to the 5 t single derivative plus 19 times a e to the 5 t is equals to e to the 5 t okay then by double derivative you get 25a e to the 5t minus 40a e to the 5t uh, plus 19a e to the 5t and this whole thing is e to the 5t. Okay. Now you can, um, what you can do now at this step? Can anybody tell me? What will you do now? What will you do now? Um, yeah, we already plugged in. We plugged this in the equation and we got this stuff. I want to clean it up. I want to solve it for A. That's exactly right. And to solve it for A, what we can do in this, how we can simplify further. We can pull e to the power 5t out, right, from this whole thing. And e to the power 5t, we can cancel both the side because exponential function is not 0. So we don't have to worry too much. So basically, 25a minus 40a plus um, 19a, how much is this? Hmm? 
no brackets we don't need brackets is one so right so you have here um 35 where that gives you um minus 4 and then plus 9 which is are you sure minus 5 yeah plus 5 4 so this is 4 so 4a is 1 so a is 1 fourth a is 1 fourth a is 1 fourth so that means I can go ahead and plug 1 fourth e to the power 5 t up in the web work and it should take it if this is a specific solution. So let's go to this and plug here e to the power okay, exponential function 5 t and 1 fourth we have to multiply in the front. So 1 fourth we are doing this and that's it and this is 